Hey, welcome to the Dawson and Denise Show. I'm Dawson. And I'm Denise. And today we're talking about a subject that's real interesting to Denise. She brought this up. She brought all the props and everything. That's a lie, but go ahead. <laughs> today we're talking about penis, vagina, and anal care. You know, I was over one of my friends' house like earlier mm -hmm. uh, last month. And, and she was looking all good and smelling like dead fish. I'm not going there. <laughs> but she was talking about her boyfriend and they were in an argument. And she busted out and she said, oh, whatever. That's why your nuts smell like Cheetos. <laughs> and everybody started laughing and ranking on him. And I'm like, wow, that's why your nuts smell like Cheetos. And it brought me up to this discussion. Do people actually take care of their hygiene when it comes to their sexual reproductive organs? Men mostly don't. Men mostly don't? That's why his nuts smell like Cheetos, the hot kind. Okay. But... <laughs> Women, we do take more care of ourselves because it's just in our nature. Yeah, right. To not look good and stuff and smell like fish. No, nah, but no, nah, but we must we must do this chronologically in order. For a man, a man has to make sure he washes, washes, and a woman has to make sure she washes too. But we're gonna get right back to that because here comes a big boat and we ain't trying to mess up this segment because you might need this tip. All right, so <laughs> go. <laughs> with a guy hygiene hygiene for a guy you know if a guy playing sports or you know always out and working mm -hmm. you got to be careful that you you definitely do have to wash your penis yeah, you and take care of your penis but if, just you like wanted we want a quickie, the girls. if you wanted a quickie maybe she just wanted a quickie then now she all mad and she want to say his nuts smell like cheetos well here's the thing speaking of quickies if you want a quickie now denise has like tons of these in her car get your butt some fresh enough <laughs> get some fresh enough <laughs> First of all, some wet wipes, some I would use up. a brand name, so of course those aren't mine. <laughs> of course those are not mine. So what you're not going to do is sit on here she and blame those. What are these? <laughs> fresh and up on me. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> hey. But I know what you're trying to do. I mean, I love the concept. Shut Keep up. yourself clean, but you will not bring fresh and up on me. You, got, you had these in your car. No, I did not. Why is it on your side? Because <laughs> I didn't want you to yeah, lie. how convenient. Shut up. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> anyway, you want to have some kind of, you know, wipe. That won't break you out. <laughs> what you saying? Fresh enough is going to break you out? No, going to break you out. I saw that rash. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, yeah. for a guy, mm -hmm. a guy got to make sure, because, you know, we work, we sweat, and all this kind of stuff. There are still stenches that could be on a, a, on a man just like it is on a woman. So you got to make sure that you are washing your penis. Mm -hmm. You are washing washing your nuts. Yes. And if you have four skin, put it back. <laughs> Take your freshen up <laughs> and wipe all around it. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> and you should. <laughs> That way they might get a little more moist. Use the fresh enough to cut your old dog. <laughs> cut you all up because they so doggone dry. But anyway. Wow. Don't go off on the fresh enough. Let's I'm talk not, about the I'm topic. Not. The topic is is that you have to is you have to make sure that you are maintaining healthy, you know, right. sexual organs and cleanliness, as they say, is next to godliness. Some people say that. Mm -hmm. I don't believe, but. You know, you got to make sure it's clean. So when it comes to the vagina, on more of the vagina, you can smell things more from a girl. And if you can smell it, trust me, everyone else can too. Don't just be sitting there trying to act like you don't know where it's coming from. And it's coming from you. <laughs> <laughs> but, I'm but, but on a serious note, if, you know the owl, the hygiene owl, the women hygiene owl is full of all these products to keep you fresh. So if this is in demand, then it's not just you. So don't be ashamed or embarrassed to walk around with feminine hygiene wet ones to wipe yourself. Especially if you're, if it's that time of month. You want to just yeah. stay fresh. Because when you feel good, you look good, you smell good, all that. And everything else is good. But on the side of this too, because a lot of people, if they're having one night stands or if they just meeting somebody, or you know, that people doing gang bangs or doing whatever, and you just jumping in there. And if you know that's your lifestyle, yeah. that you just, you know, you do drive-throughs and you yeah. got your, your wipes and all that kind Be of the stuff. Be the freshest, beat it up stuff that, you mean, just exactly. give, you're going to give yourself away 10 times a night. Make sure it's fresh. Yeah, sure. yeah. That you, uh, you use your senses. You're, you're feeling stuff. Never have sex in the Touch, dark. I don't pace, go for that yet. Because a lot of people have sex in the dark and therefore... Turn the lights off. Is that, and, <laughs> and therefore they can't see things. And they're like, well, I didn't know it was this, this uh, coloration or 
I didn't do this, but you can smell mm -hmm. if you're doing that. So definitely smell because again, it's about your health. But when sometimes when the guy smells, does that even stop them from going no. on to the next level? No. no. They might hold their breath and keep on going for the next two minutes. That's why you. <laughs> you have to proceed with caution, people. You have to. If it smells like that nine times out of ten, it can't be good for you. Yeah. If we take the milk and we smell the milk and it's spoiled, we're not going to drink it. Throw it out. Throw good, it out. good analogy. And uh -huh. I, I think that's, you know, if it's a person, you're not going to throw out the person. But definitely if you smell in something mm -hmm. that doesn't right smell back. good, yeah. And, I'll be right back. And do you and come back? Just, hell no. The annual analogy of anal sex. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are getting into anal sex because of porn, because of curiosity, because of people who just have a fetish with that. And you have to make sure the anus is clean too because we always say on this show that we, you know, anal sex is not, you know, something that, you know. Who said that? No, we say on this show, we tell them we, facts. Oh, you, you, want, you got some things you want to say about anal sex? <laughs> you want to testify? Oh, I thought you were going to say that. We say don't do it. Oh, so maybe you know a little bit more about this. Go ahead. <laughs> Proceed. Proceed with anal sex? I plead the food. You plead the Anyway, but here, anal sex is a risky act because the anus is not meant to have sex out of it. And any doctors, anybody would tell you that. Therefore, if you are doing that, make sure you use lots of lubrication that you're using, this stuff to protect yourself. And definitely because people use Vaseline mm -hmm. and lotion, thinking or that... Or freshen up oil. Yeah, and thinking... Doesn't or scent oil. <laughs> doesn't freshen up have an oil brand? I mean, an oil line too? <laughs> Proceed. I'm just asking. Yeah, you right. You would know. I don't know what the freshen up for. <laughs> like I said, like I said before, you can smell yourself. If you can smell yourself, yeah. other people can. So they you're look, looking yeah. all around trying to figure out where the smell come from. Touch it, it's you. Smell it. And fellas, if you touch her and she stink, put her, put your hands on her nose. And if she frown up, then damn it, don't you mess with it. Cause if she don't want it, why should you? Damn it. Brothers, <laughs> them brothers like this, man, I got to do what I got to do. <laughs> hey, you know, it's, it's a gamble, man. It I, is. Vegas, baby. Why Vegas got to come in? I'm just I didn't saying. do nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, touch it, touch it. Touch it, touch it. <laughs> anyway, hey, the main thing of this video, y'all. Is cover it up. Cover it up. Protect yourself. Not the you, smell. Don't cover up the smell. You need nah, to do something nah, about that. that. But I'm just saying, wrap it up. That's what Hey, I'm but this is Big Brother Dawson. Listen to Denise. Just telling y'all, hey, we love y'all. Take care of y'all self, man, because nobody ain't going to look out for you like you look mm -hmm. out for you. And we're here to just open That's up. your stuff. Open That's up the stuff. dialogue, y'all. Take it from here. Yeah. Google whatever y'all want to Google. Google whatever you want to Google. Hey, if, if freshen up, same for you. They got wet <laughs> ones. They got some wipes, some other wipes, some alcohol wipes, some aloe wipes. Get what you need. Hey. And get hey, what you need to get hey, what let me, you need. Let me tell you something. You shouldn't, first you should take a bath. Freshen up is just when you're on the go, when you're doing a drive through. It's not the cover up. It's, not it's called cover. freshen up, not cover up. Exactly. Or a damn bath. It's not called freshen a bath. <laughs> a bath in a bottle. <laughs> freshen up is just when you're on the go. And my ghetto girl voice, bathe. <laughs> you need to bathe. I'm bathing. I'm bathing. <laughs> I ain't heard that in a while. Hey, but y'all, I'm Dawson. I'm Denise. Hey, be safe, man. Take care of yourself, man. Peace. Crazy. Remember you used to say, babe, what the hell is...